In this video, I'm going to show you how I cut these uh, frame spacers for my Slovenian beehives. I'll be plasma cutting the frame spacers out of this uh, 12 by 24, um, 22 gauge sheet steel. Originally, I had uh, 12 spacers uh, on each sheet, but these proved to be problematic because a lot of the uh, waste stock would fall out or flip or just got in the way. So I eventually uh, placed eight frame spacers on each sheet and it worked out much better. I'll be able to get uh, eight uh, frame spacers, which is enough for two, uh, two levels of my three level uh, Slovenian beehive. I use sheet cam to create the tool pass for my plasma CNC. I decided to cut each uh, frame spacer individually so that the warping of uh, the previous cut would not affect the current cut. The settings I used are pretty much all the same throughout uh, uh, 100 inches a minute. I used a pierce delay of 100 millisecond, but I am using uh, arc OK signal on the CNC, so it won't actually start moving until it gets an arc OK signal. So let's, uh, let's start cutting. Cutting thin uh, sheet metal with a plasma cutter uh, is problematic due to the warping of the uh, thin metal. So a torch height control is a must. My uh, go-to uh, torch height control is this CAP4 uh, capacitance height controller. Uh, it's easy to set up. Um, you can actually run it without out cutting to make sure everything's going to go all right. Uh, so uh, I'll, I'll show you a little bit later in the cuts uh, at working as it's uh, cutting some, uh, some pretty warped stuff. The plasma cutter I'm using is an Everlast uh, Power Plasma 50S. Uh, it has a computer interface, so it's really easy to control with the CNC. Uh, and here I have it set at its lowest setting of uh, 19 amps. Here we are cutting the uh, first frame spacer. The CNC will do a touch-off to calculate the exact height above the uh, stock. This is used to calculate the pierce and cutting height. I'm using a downdraft table that vents to the outside. Uh, this keeps the dust in the shop down to uh, next to nothing. Do you see that flip up there? That's exactly why I, I'm cutting each piece individually. Next is uh, frame spacer number two. Perfect. And number three. Frame spacer number four. 
As uh, we continue to cut, the, 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 uh, the whole sheet will actually start to uh, warp a bit. But with this uh, torch I control, it doesn't matter. It'll follow the curve. I have it set. I, it'll go as high as I think four or five inches above or below. That's never going to happen, but... Number Frame spacer number six. Here we go with uh, frame spacer number seven. Notice the uh, neodyme magnets in the corners helping uh, hold the uh, sheet down. Just don't get them too close to the arc because they will affect the arc. And this is number eight, the uh, final frame spacer for this set. Um, it's hard to tell from uh, the video here, but the there's a big, probably half inch to three quarter of an inch hump in the sheet metal. And I'll show you a video of the uh, torch height as it's making this cut as well. Here's the cut again from the torch height controller's uh, perspective. See it going up as it goes over that uh, high spot? For as badly warped as it was, it turned out really, really good. I'm very happy with this. This is how I change out the uh, sheet metal stock. Notice the two pieces of painter's tape. This helps me uh, insert the next piece uh, so that it's already aligned and I don't have to measure anything.
here I'm adding my neodyme magnets. These are primarily there just to, to keep the lips from flipping up a little bit and to keep the sheet from moving due to the uh, air coming out of the plasma torch. And here we are with uh, enough uh, frame spacers for three uh, three level times 12 frame uh, Slovenian beehives. The original uh, frame spacers were one eighth inch thick, which is one of the reasons why I'm replacing them. Um, because the slits that they go in is one eighth inch, I have to use some uh, wooden shims to keep these uh, tight. Uh, worked pretty good. So let's uh, get to some uh, assembly here. First, I remove the old um, frame spacers. They're held in with uh, um, five screws. One of the reasons why I'm replacing these is they're just too fragile. Uh, they would have been a disaster had I actually used them in, a, in an active hive. Here I'm removing the uh, old frame spacers from the rear screens. The process is identical for the uh, uh, rear screens and the uh, inside of the beehive. And finally, the uh, steel frame spacers and shims are inserted and secured with the screws. And here, all the uh, frame spacers have been installed. So let's uh, add some frames and see how everything works.
Well, the uh, frames went together perfectly, so I would call this a success. So be sure to visit uh, mysylvanianhive.com for a full write-up of this project, as well as my uh, chronosrobotics.com uh, website for more information on uh, the CNCs and plasma cutters and such. So, till next time.